Hi there, my name is Joss. If you love to talk about fragrance and perfume, you've come to the right place and hope you consider subscribing. I also hope you'll consider following me on TikTok and Instagram where I also talk about perfume. Today, I'm really excited to start my perfume collection video series. So I haven't done a perfume collection overview in a long time. I will link my previous videos up in the cards for you if you wanna check them out. So I'm gonna be starting out with fall fragrances. So I have a lot of fall fragrances. And of course, you can wear whatever you want, whenever you want. It's just these fragrances that I'm gonna be talking about today, I think are perfect for fall and for those kind of cooler, crisp months. But of course, you can wear them anytime. And so I just thought this was a good way to group my fragrances. So I'm gonna be doing them by season. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to fit all of my fall fragrances into one video. Probably not because it's a lot, but we'll see. I'm not gonna go in any particular order and I am gonna be talking about my full bottles. I probably will talk about a few travel sprays just because I think they're noteworthy or I love them or it's a house that I really adore. So I will throw in a few travel sprays, but for the most part, this is gonna be full bottles only. I'm not gonna talk about samples. I do have a lot of samples too. And I'm not gonna be talking about body mists. Like I have a large collection of Bath and Body Works and Victoria's Secret body mists. I'm not gonna be including those. I'm also gonna be including some that are actually from my husband's collection, but I wear occasionally. So I will be talking about some of those too. And these are gonna be in no particular order. So starting out with Mont Blanc Presence Dune Femme. I've talked about this one on the channel a bit. This is a really pretty amber vanilla and I really like this. It's just a really nice, pleasant fragrance. This is just a great fragrance for the office or kind of anywhere. It's really versatile, it's really pretty, and I think it's underrated. I really don't hear too many people talking about this one, but I really like it. Next, I've got kind of this classic staple, which is Prada Candy. It's kind of a caramel vanilla e fragrance, and I really like layering with this, and it's just, it's very pleasant. It's nothing earth shattering, but I do like Prada Candy, and I like to have it in my collection. I've got Betsy Johnson Eau de Parfum. I just talked about this one recently in my Apple Fragrances video. This is a great fragrance. It's a super cheapy. It's really beautiful. I love it. I think this is like a $15 bottle and it's just a super nice fragrance. Great deal. From one of my favorite indie niche houses, this is Saddle from Svensk. And this is a caramely leather fragrance. It's spicy. It's delicious. I really love this one. I really love the house of Svensk. This was the first one I got. I actually got this one on Mercari, but you can buy Svensk on Crystal Fragrances in the US. This is Shalimar Filtra from Guerlain, and this is one of the newest, I think it might actually be the newest flanker to Shalimar. I love this. Um, I actually saw this pop up on FragranceNet for the first time, but it sold out really fast, so I didn't get a bottle. I just got this partial bottle on Mercari because it's so new, it's kind of hard to find still unless you want to buy it from the Guerlain website, which I don't, but this is so pretty. Mm. So it's like the original Shalimar, but it's a little bit brighter, a little bit lighter, more modernized. I think it's gorgeous. And again, this is Filtra. From Hannah Mori, this is Magical Moon, and this is kind of in the vein of Mugler's Angel. And it's just a very pretty kind of deep, rich, I'm gonna actually spray this one because it's been so long since I wore it. It's very rich and intoxicating. I think the bottle is really pretty and it's a gorgeous fragrance. I think you can still find this one on FragranceNet and the gray market sites. I got mine on FragranceNet. This is pretty new to me. This is Mont Blanc Signature. This is a beautiful floral, just a rich, gorgeous floral. And this one is pretty popular right now on YouTube. And I heard about it from Tara Michelle from Opinionated Scents, as well as Paulina Char. It's a very nice fragrance and, um, I got mine on fragrancebuy.ca. This is Kate Walsh Boyfriend. So I really like this fragrance. This is actually very gender neutral, very gorgeous amber. And I didn't, this was one of the ones I thought I misplaced, but I actually just found it in my drawer. So I'm very happy to have found it again because this is perfect for fall. It's spicy, it's ambery, it's very delicious. I think you can only buy this on the Kate Walsh Boyfriend website or maybe on QVC. I got mine on the Kate Walsh website. It's a really nice perfume and it's like around $50. So it's pretty affordable. From Tokyo Milk, this is Excess. It comes in this cool bottle. This is like a patchouli bomb. So it's got lots of patchouli. It's only got a couple other notes. I can't remember what they are, but it's very pretty. So this has amber resin, oak bark, blood orange, and patchouli. So it's only got a few notes. It's very intense. If you don't like patchouli, you probably won't like this one, but I think it's really cool and pretty and powerful. So that's excess from Tokyo Milk. Nest, this is Cocoa Woods. This is a really pretty chocolatey, of course, fragrance. I'm gonna spray this on too. 
yeah I really love this I think this one might be discontinued although I do see it pop up on fragrance scent occasionally it's just a really pretty chocolatey fragrance um it's got some florals it's really underrated I really haven't heard anyone talk about this one but I think it's really nice this one is discontinued this is love Chloe and this is a very strong floral it reminds me kind of of an 80s or 90s fragrance. It's just super intense and um, it's beautiful. I lucked out and found this one on Mercari and I really like it. I wish it wasn't discontinued. I wish that this were easier to find, but I really do like this Love Chloe. It's really pretty and interesting to me. This is the only fragrance I have from Be Layered. This is called Mia's Blend. It's one of their original formulations. It's a very pretty powdery floral a little bit ambery. Uh, this was a recommendation from Sarah Mays and it's really a nice fragrance. I think their bottles are kind of cool. I just, I like the feeling of this kind of little basic square bottle in my hand for some reason. So Mia's blend I think is really nice. And like I said, I have really haven't tried much from Be Layered, but I do like this original formulation of Mia's blend. This is from Jill Sander and this is from their pastels collection. This one is yellow. This one I haven't worn a lot, but I, so I don't even really recall what it smells like. It's very spicy. I think I was really attracted to the bottle design for some reason. <laughs> so it's a really spicy, pretty fragrance. Um, I need to break this out more because I really like this kind of spicy amber floral. It's it's really pretty. And I think this one might be discontinued. I think I got mine on Mercari. Very pretty, nice, spicy amber floral. From Lolita Lampica, this one is Lolita Land. I would say this is a really sweet, ambery vanilla. I think the bottle is so cool. It's It reminds me of a pumpkin, but it's got this really pretty deer design on the top. And so this kind of has the Lolita Lampica DNA with that slight licorice, although I don't think this actually has a licorice note. It's got like a peach Bellini cocktail note. It's very pretty, very sweet, very youthful, nice fragrance, good for fall, Lolita. Ariana Grande, this is R.E.M. And this is pretty. So this smells like Ariana Grande, I think kind of has a her own house DNA. They're very sweet. They usually have marshmallow. Sometimes they have like a sour fruit. This one's the newest one to me, so I don't, I haven't really worn it a lot. It's pretty, but I just don't feel like I know it super well. A little bit, a little bit fruity, a little bit spicy. It's nice. So again, this is REM from Ariana Grande. From Commodity, this is Tonka. This is a very beautiful, rich Tonka fragrance that has lots of other interesting notes. So this gray collection from Commodity these are the really rich, they're made with like oils and really deep, rich ingredients. So this one is beautiful. It's great for layering. It's just a really gorgeous Tonka-based fragrance. From Emporio Armani, this is called She, and this is kind of an interesting fragrance. It's kind of a spicy amber floral, I think. Um, it's pretty, the bottle I think is really weird and not very attractive. <laughs> If I'm just being honest, it's kind of a funky bottle, not in a good way, but I really do like the fragrance. It's been around for a long time. I think this came out like in the very late 90s, early 2000s, and I think they've actually just re-released it, but it's a nice fragrance and good for fall. This is J'adore Infinissime, and this is the latest flanker from Dior J'adore, and I really, I really love this. It's such a sparkly, sparkly, beautiful white floral. It's got the slightest hint of the original J'adore DNA, but it definitely takes it in a different modernized direction to me. And I really like this one. From Jesus Del Pozo, this is Cashmere Bouquet Nights. This is a really interesting, gorgeous fragrance, totally gender neutral. I got this one on fragrancebuy.ca. I think it's a little bit hard to find, but it's such a rich, gorgeous, kind of amber um, in the Middle Eastern style, beautiful and perfect for fall, love it. From Molinar, this is Vanille, and this is a gorgeous vanilla. So I really like, I've only tried a few from Molinar, and I really like them, especially, um, I have this one, and then I have Vanille Patchouli, and they're both really pretty um, layers. It's not too sweet. It's a beautiful vanilla. It layers well with other things. It's really gorgeous. I like the bottles, and this, I got this for a really good deal on Fragrance Center. It was like $22 or something. Very good. Molinar tends to be pretty affordable. Um, for niche perfume, but I got like a super great deal on Fragrance Net. And they do pop up on Fragrance Net and Fragrance Buy for good deals. So this is Vinny, love it. This is the original Hannah Mori, and this is so pretty, very um, fluffy and light and powdery, but like rich and deep enough where this is nice for the cooler weather. I think the bottle is beautiful and elegant. And I think this is a gorgeous classic. I, 
I think this came out in the late 90s, so it's been around for a long time, but I never wore it or really smelled it back then, so I really like having this in my collection. Hannah Mori. From Memo Paris, this is Irish Leather. This is a gorgeous leather fragrance, and this was a tester bottle I got on FragranceNet for like $80, which is a pretty good deal because um, Memo Paris tends to be pretty expensive. So this is a really beautiful kind of spicy leather. It's um, gender neutral, beautiful, and I love the bottle. I think, I wish I had the cap, but this one came without a cap. So what are you gonna do? I do have to, I'm spraying like a million things. So um, yeah, it's really, really gorgeous. Spicy leather, beautiful. This is Twilly from Hermes. This is a gorgeous, ginger floral so bright and so pretty this is like the perfect early fall fragrance i think it's bright it's invigorating it's just it's really a stunner i think it's classic it's good for the office it's good for just about any occasion i really think it's beautiful this is twilly again from hermes from zara this is sweet pastry in paris this is kind of a cult classic it's a really pretty sweet lemon pastry fragrance V smells very bakery-esque. Um, I actually kind of have a hard time wearing this one. It's just so incredibly sweet and lemony and it smells so much like an actual pastry <laughs> that it's not really my favorite thing to wear on its own. I do like layering this with some other things and if you can get your hands on the Bath & Body Works Margarita Cupcake fragrances, they had those at the last semi-annual sale. Smells very similar to this in my opinion but this is um, one of those things that's, I like it, but I just, I kind of have a hard time wearing it because it's just a little bit unusual and literal to me. From Tokyo Milk, this is Honey in the Moon. I love these little Tokyo Milk fragrances. I think they're so cute. So this has sweet honey, sugared violet, jasmine, and sandalwood. Very pretty, very sweet. Speaking of sweet, this is a very sweet honey fragrance. And it's such a cute little bottle with the, with the bee. So, um, perfect for fall, gorgeous. This is Valentino, born in Roma. This is, this is kind of your standard pink amber floral. Um, so very similar to Flower Bomb, La Vie Belle, um, lots of other fragrances. It's nice. I think the bottle's gorgeous. Um, it's not one of my favorites just because I think this is a very kind of common perfume DNA that I smell a lot and is extremely popular, but this is a pretty fragrance and it's a people pleaser. Nobody's gonna complain if you're wearing this. So it's, it's nice, I'm happy to have it. Um, and I just, I love looking at this bottle. I don't know why, but it's, I think it's a gorgeous bottle. So anyway, that's Valentino, born in Roma. Speaking of gorgeous bottles, this is YSL Libra. I love this one. I wore this to the office the other day, layered with Fairy Tale from Bath and Body Works. And this is, this is beautiful. I really like Fairy Tale from Bath and Body Works. It's one of their newest ones. And so this has some lavender in it. It's got lots of florals. It's just very elegant, classy. It's a little bit divisive. People either kind of seem to love it or hate it. I really love it. I don't think it's anything that's gonna blow your mind, but I think it's very pleasant and very classic, nice and elegant for the office and other types of professional type environments. I've got a few travel sprays here I wanted to talk about. So this is Narcisso. This is the one that comes in the white cube bottle. I have two of these Narcisso travel sprays and Narcisso is so stunningly beautiful. It's um, it's powdery, it's classy, it's like this clean, elegant musk, it's gorgeous. I love Narcisso and so this is awesome. I also have a travel spray of the Poudre version, also beautiful, just more powdery. Lady Stetson, this is one I've talked about in a few videos. It's a cheapy, but it's so pretty and it's been compared to one of the Chanel's, like I think it's like 22 or 19, I'm not sure, but it's got aldehydes. It's just a very pretty fragrance. Came out in the 90s, I think, and you can find it on the bottom shelf of your Walmart, <laughs> probably on FragranceNet too, but it's just very elegant and gorgeous. I've got a travel spray of Commodity Velvet. This is a beauty, going for kind of a velvet vibe. It's just really pretty and elegant and these commodity fragrances are really nice for layering. I have gold which is a really really beautiful one and so some of them actually take notes and then some of them kind of take fantasy type notes like gold and velvet obviously don't actually have a smell but they have tried to kind of emulate what that might smell like if it were to have a smell. So they're really nice fragrances and you can buy commodity on their website. So from Etat Libre d'Orange this is Dangerous Complicity. This is a really interesting beautiful 
just kind of a nice fragrance that will kind of take you into the office or just about anywhere. It's one of those really nice versatile fragrances. Even though it's called Dangerous Complicity, it doesn't strike me as a super dangerous smelling fragrance. Like, um, like if I were looking at the ones in front of me right now at the moment, I would say if I were looking for something dangerous, I would go for Cashmere Bouquet Nights or something I haven't talked about yet, but um, Montal Honey Oud. I would not be going for Dangerous Complicity, but it's a nice fragrance. I do like it. Speaking of Honey Oud, this is a really pretty spicy, it's so pretty. It's such a nice spicy floral. It's um, It's got the honey, so it's got that kind of sweet element. It's really beautiful and a little bit very, very slightly giving me a slight Killian's Angel Share vibe, but you know, not a dupe or anything, but somewhat similar. This is from The Body Shop and this is White Musk Smoky Rose. This was a Lulu recommendation and it's really pretty. It's just like it sounds, White Musk Smoky Rose. Very pretty, um, good for layering, also good on its own. I think this was a great recommendation. I do like that. And Gallagher Rose All Day, which is oh, so, so pretty. It's a gourmand. It's got really interesting notes. It's very beautiful. It's got apple crisp, plum, dark rose, brown sugar, tonka bean, and stainless steel. And that stainless steel does not take over. It's a very faint kind of slight metallic very beautiful fragrance and quite talked about on YouTube, especially a year or two ago, but I really love this. And um, if I'm looking for a beautiful fall gourmand, this is a perfect, perfect choice. From El Harmain, this is Amber Oud Tobacco. This is like, I think it's intended to be a clone for Tom Ford Tobacco Vanille. It's gorgeous. Um, I love this one. And I think El Harmain does fragrances beautifully. They're kind of mid-range. They're not super inexpensive. Like um, Rosasi tends to be a little cheaper. I think Latafa is also cheaper. So they're a little bit more expensive than those two, but I think they're gorgeous. They do some great fragrances. This is Adults by Killian. This is a beautiful fig fragrance. It's gender neutral. It's a gorgeous fig floral and it's not very sweet. It's beautiful. It's a little bit dry love it. Not really crazy about the bottle or the name because the name is actually let's settle this argument like adults in the bedroom. Now it's just a little cheesy. Okay <laughs> this is the Boss Scent Private Accord and this is stunning. It's so pretty and like chocolatey and it's got some mandarin orange. It's just a, this amazing gourmand. Sadly it doesn't last for crap but it's beautiful and I love it. So put a little bit of a dent in this one. The Boss, Boss the Scent Private Accord. From Lolita Limpica, this is called C. Si Minui Illusion Noir. And this is a gorgeous fragrance. This one smells niche to me. It's deep, it's rich. I think it's got plum. It's just a beautiful fragrance and really unique. Um, this one, I've seen this one on Mercari. I think I got mine on Mercari and I've seen it there and I've occasionally seen it pop up on the gray market sites. It's a beautiful fragrance, very underrated. And I think the bottle's actually kind of cool. It reminds me of like glass doodads that I remember seeing in the 70s, like in my grandparents' houses. So it's a beautiful fragrance. C. Minui Illusion Noir. Also from El Harmain, this is Janun Noir. This is a beautiful, beautiful floral fruity. And it's got, um, it's been compared to Dama Bianca from Zerjoff and it's a gorgeous fragrance. This is fairly inexpensive, usually like 40 or $50. Beautiful, great deal, love this one. I've got several from Ellie Saab's Essence line. This is number three, Ombra. So this is an amber, it's a gorgeous amber fragrance. One of my favorite ambers, it's spicy. It's, it's just like um, a little bit minimalistic because there isn't like a lot. That's the thing I love about these essence fragrances is they don't pack in a million notes, but they're just these gorgeous classic compositions. They're from the nose of Francis Kirchon and I love this one. This is one of my favorites. And um, again, essence number three, Ombra. These do pop up on Fragrance Net and Fragrance Buy and Fragrance X from time to time. And they're fairly affordable. They're usually under hundred and I love them. From Agent Provocateur, this is Blue Silk. This is a beautiful amber fragrance. This is another Lulu recommendation. Love this one. Packaging, eh, not so great, but it's a beautiful fragrance and perfect for fall. Nice amber spicy 
from Blair Bellario. This is Meharis, and this is said to be a clone for Frederick Mall's Musk Ravager, and it's stunning. It's a beautiful, spicy, um, it's got some warm spices. It's fabulous. And Lerbolario is an Italian um, brand that you can buy on um, the herbarium in the US, which is out of Florida or California, or um, in Europe. I'm sure these are everywhere in Europe, but this is a gorgeous, um, and I think this is only around I want to say this was around $40. It wasn't too expensive. It's really beautiful. Another Al Haramain. This is Amber Oud Rouge. This is the Baccarat Rouge 540 clone. This is gorgeous. I love it. It smells very similar to Baccarat Rouge 540. At about $60, this is about a fifth of the price of Baccarat Rouge 540. So if you're looking for something that's affordable um, to give you that BR 540 vibe, this is a great choice. I love this one. From the house of Burdu, this is Masai Mara. And this is a gorgeous, warm, spicy, beautiful, um, really interesting fragrance. I really, I got this towards the end of winter last year, so I really haven't had a chance to wear it, but I'm looking forward to it because it's such a pretty, spicy, rich, deep, gorgeous amber fragrance, and I love um, the packaging. I think it's very, very beautiful. This is my one Miller Harris. This is L'Air de Rien, which means the air of nothing, and it's an interesting fragrance. I have a hard time describing it. It's a little bit animalic. It's a little bit spicy, a little bit amber, I do have a lot of spicy amber fragrances in my collection. This one is really interesting. Can't quite pinpoint what I'm getting, but it's like this really beautiful, fresh, kind of aromatic, but also spicy fragrance. So um, again, this is the only one I have from this house and I really haven't smelled a lot from Miller Harris, but I do like this one and I would be interested. Have you tried anything from the house? Let me know what are some good ones? What are your thoughts? Have you tried this? Let me know. I'm curious because this one's just hard. This is one of the ones that I find a little hard to describe, kind of just like, what am I smelling here? But I like it. Another Ellie Sub Essence. This is number four Oud and this is a gorgeous Oud fragrance. Oh, just classy and you get that rich burnt kind of Oud. It's a little bit smoky, a little bit animalic. It's, it's a stunner and I just love this line. One I've talked about a lot on my channel. This is Oud Ambrosie from Maison Lancome. I love this one to pieces. It's fabulous. It's um, Oud, Cedar, Rose, Patchouli, and Honey. And it's fabulous. It's um, rich and delicious and sweet. And it lasts, it's like beast mode. Two sprays, that's all I do with this one. And I'm good for all day. Gorgeous, not really office friendly, but this is fabulous and I love it. This is fairly new to me. This is Slow Dive from Hiram Green and I love this so much. Ooh. It's um, it's sweet. It reminds me slightly of Zoologist B. So it's sweet and it's got honey and it's got dried fruits and it's a little bit animalic. I think there's beeswax in here. It's beautiful and I love, love, love this. And I really like the House of Hiram Green. It's one of my favorite niche indie houses. And I think this is a stunner, but not for everyone, not a safe blind buy. From Swiss Arabian, this is a perfume oil called Leali. And this is so, so pretty. I mean, look at this. I love this packaging. I need to wear this more because I just, so, so pretty and elegant. Um, you can get these on fragranceby.ca, probably Fragrance Net and Fragrance X2. It's so, so pretty and it's a really rich, deep floral, um, likely with some fruits, maybe some oud. It's really beautiful. So that's Leali from Swiss Arabian. This is Van Cleef & Arpels Orchidee Vanille. This is a gorgeous vanilla, floral vanilla with some amber, beautiful. I don't get great longevity from this, but I love layering it with other things. And I think it's a very beautiful fragrance. And again, this one's pretty popular. I do hear a lot of people talking about this on YouTube for good reason. I think it's a beautiful fragrance. Van Cleef & Arpels Orchidee Vanille. I was just so hot, I had to partially disrobe. I hope you don't mind, but <laughs> here we go. This is Rihanna Rebel Fleur. This is gorgeous. You can wear this any time of year. I put it in fall because it's like the perfect early fall fragrance. It's got some summery notes. It's a little bit tropical. It's got like coconut, hibiscus, um, white flowers. I think this one really shines in early fall. So I put it in this one and I love this one. 
This is Angel Muse. This is one of my all-time favorites. The notes of grapefruit, vetiver, hazelnut spread, patchouli. It's so, so beautiful. It's kind of got the original Angel DNA, but this is really its own fragrance, I think, even though technically it's a flanker of Angel, but it's so rich and intoxicating. I love this one, and I've talked about it in a lot of videos. Another Ellie Saab Essence. This is number one rose. This has like four kinds of rose. It's really intoxicating and beautiful. It's rich, it's dark, it's kind of syrupy. I wouldn't say it's jammy, but it's this really interesting rose and it's gorgeous. It's actually currently on Fragrance Buy for like $75. So I did happen to just see that. By the time I post this video, I'm not sure if that'll still be the case, but I did just see it on Fragrance Buy. It's gorgeous, love it. This is the original Madonna Truth or Dare. This is a beautiful white floral. It's spicy, it's interesting. It's, why did they discontinue this? It's so pretty and beautiful and interesting. I love it and unfortunately it's pretty hard to find but I really, really enjoy this one. This is Hot Couture from Givenchy and this one's really been having a moment um, on YouTube. It's been around for a long time. I think it came out in like 2003 but it's been very popular for the last couple years on YouTube. So this is the Eau de Parfum. There's also an EDT version. I really like it. It's a very smoky raspberry. It's an interesting fragrance and I think really nice for fall. This is Glowing from Jennifer Lopez and this is a really pretty floral fragrance. This one actually reminds me a lot of Erin Waterlily's Sun, which I also have. This one is sadly discontinued, um, very hard to find. I got mine on Mercari, but it's a really beautiful fragrance. Another one I wish they would bring back because it's so lovely and interesting and just easy reach beautiful. This is the original Jimmy Choo. I love this one. It's got mandarin orange, toffee, pear, patchouli, some other notes. It's just a really gorgeous, really strong, beautiful fragrance. Lasts all day and then some just lovely. And if you don't like patchouli, you probably won't like it, but I really love my Jimmy Choo. This is Ragba from Latafa. I got on the hype train when this was really popular a year or two ago. I'm not crazy about it. It's a very, very affordable fragrance, usually around $25 or $30. And it's not bad, I don't hate it, but it's just not something that I really find myself wanting to wear. It's an oud, it's kind of pretty. It kind of reminds me of oud bouquet a little bit, but it's not quite there and um, it's okay. Another Lulu recommendation, this is Dark Cherry and Amber from Banana Republic. This is gorgeous. It's um, just like it sounds, Dark Cherry and Amber, really beautiful and intoxicating. It's like, this one's a great bargain because I think it's around 35 or $40 and it's beautiful. It smells more expensive. I love this one. This one's discontinued. I think it's a little hard to find. This is from Clarence. It's called Paramour or For Love. And it's a really pretty spicy floral. Really interesting and beautiful. And I think I got mine on Fragrance X. It just kind of popped up one day. I set alerts for different things I'm interested in. And this one actually popped up and I bought it from Fragrance X. I really like it. It's interesting. It reminds me of some other stuff. I'm not aware of too many other fragrances from Clarence, but I really do like this one. Again, this is Paramour. This is Madonna Truth or Dare Naked. This is gorgeous. This has um, cinnamon and oud and it's really spicy and rich and beautiful. This one is a little bit easier to find than the original, but still it pops up from time to time. Most recently, I think I saw it on Fragrance Buy. I'm not sure if it's still there, probably not, but it's really pretty, gorgeous, intoxicating fragrance. They should definitely bring this one back too. These two Madonna fragrances are fabulous and maybe I should start a petition, I don't know. From Boucheron, this is Place Vendôme, and this is a gorgeous, gorgeous floral, very classy and beautiful, um, very inexpensive. I think it smells much more expensive than it is. This one I think is around $30, and it's just really, really gorgeous, elegant, and easy reach, office friendly, beautiful fragrance. This is Narcissa Rodriguez for her L'Absolute. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous version of the original. Narcissa Rodriguez for her. This is just amped up, more beautiful, more um, more fruits. Maybe there's some plum in here. I'm not exactly sure, but it's just a really gorgeous rendition of the original Narcissa Rodriguez for her. I love this one. And I love the house of Narcissa Rodriguez in general. This is Alea. This is a gorgeous fragrance and very spicy and ambery, beautiful, elegant. This one was really popular a couple years ago and I haven't heard as much about it recently, but it's beautiful. And I think this is another one I see pop up on the gray market sites occasionally. It's really lovely, especially for the fall. 
This is Scentsy. It's discontinued from Armani. I bought this partial bottle from Sarah Mays and I will link her channel below. Any channels that I'm mentioning, I will link below. Be sure to check them out. This is a really beautiful amber spicy, um, amber spicy floral kind of in the 90s style. It's very, very beautiful. And I wish they would bring this one back too because it's so, so pretty and I'm kind of reluctant to use this, but I really like it. So again, this is Scentsy from Giorgio Armani. From Lolita Lempica, this is El Lem Alafoli. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous fragrance. The El Lem line is really beautiful. And this Alafoli version, I got this tester on Fragrance Net or Fragrance X quite a while ago. Very beautiful. It's got that kind of original Lolita Lempica DNA with that slight licorice vibe. But this one has more florals. I think it's got more jasmine. It's beautiful. It's um, it's just a gorgeous fragrance. If you see this one pop up for a decent price, I'd snatch it up. I think it's beautiful and versatile. You can really wear this one just about anywhere. From the House of Pin Rose, this is Pin Rose. It's a beautiful rose fragrance. I love the House of Pin Rose and this is just a beautiful classic rose fragrance. I'm not sure if this one is still, this one might be discontinued. I think I bought mine on Mercari and I really love it. It's a beautiful rose. It reminds me of some other rose fragrances that I have, but I really like this. And um, if you can find a good deal for this one, I definitely recommend it. This is Moschino Toy Boy. I love this one so much. It's a beautiful rose and it's like spicy and rich and interesting, lovely. And it doesn't quite match the bottle design because it's just really beautiful and classy. And it's not a super classy bottle, but I think it's kind of a fun bottle. And I love the fragrance, that's what matters, right? And it's totally gender neutral. So Moschino Toy Boy, love. From Comptoir Sud Pacifique, this is Eclat de Monde. This is a gorgeous almond fragrance. It's so, so pretty. It's a little bit gourmand and it's just sweet and beautiful and rich. If you love almond, this is this is definitely worth looking into. So Eclat de Monde from Comptoir Sud Pacifique. Another one from Comptoir Sud Pacifique. This is Room in Tabac. And so this is a rum and tobacco fragrance. It's also beautiful. <laughs> Probably be really nice layered, although it might be kind of a flavor explosion because they're so interesting. And that almond really comes through in the almond version. The rum and tobacco really comes through in this one. This one's beautiful too. So I really like these. This is the Bottega Veneta EDP. This is a gorgeous gender neutral, lovely fragrance. It's a classy amber spicy. It's intoxicating. It's just a really, really beautiful, rich and delicious delicious but not gourmand fragrance. Narcissa Rodriguez for her in color. This is very similar to the original Narcissa Rodriguez for her. This one has a little bit of peach in it. It's very pretty. Love it. It's a gorgeous bottle. If you like Narcissa Rodriguez for her and in the black bottle, you'll probably like this one too because like I said, it's very similar, but I love this. From Clean, this is Amber Saffron and this very pretty aromatic fragrance, totally gender neutral. And um, there was they had some really good deals on fragrance net a while ago for testers of these and i love this one i think it's beautiful from rosasi this is sotu roi and this is a gender neutral gorgeous fragrance i it's rich it's beautiful it's intoxicating um i definitely get some oud this one sits on my husband's shelf but i really like it another one that sits on my husband's shelf that i also enjoy this is from Swiss Arabian, this is Shagaf Oud Abyad. So this isn't the Shagaf Oud that people were talking about a year or so ago. This is a slightly different one, but it's really beautiful too. Very aromatic and gorgeous and gender neutral. And I think they did a great job with this. This is Mandarina Duck Black Extreme. And this is a gorgeous, beautiful and deep, rich, beautiful fragrance. I think this is gender neutral, even though it's marketed to men. From Maison Margiela, this is Mutiny. This is so, so pretty. I just got this one fairly recently and it's just this beautiful amber spicy, but it's got some apple in it and it's just a very, very gorgeous underrated fragrance because I've really never heard it talked about. I got this at a fragrance by .ca sale and it's really a stunner. This lovely one that sits on my husband's shelf, this is Gucci Guilty Absolute. This is smoky to the extreme. It's, it's like pure smoke. It's just gorgeous. It's so um, interesting and beautiful. I think it's discontinued. It's marketed to men. I love it. it, especially for layering with different things because it is so smoky, but I think it like it layers well with other things and it's just a beautiful fragrance and does not smell like a designer fragrance because it's so interesting and unique. And I love designer fragrances. I'm not knocking them, but it's just smells like an indie fragrance to me. 
One that I heard about from the fabulous Arlene from Delicious Delights, this is Elvis Jesus for her. So there's also a for him version, but I think this one smells very gender neutral to me, even though it's marketed to women. So it's, it's a gorgeous cherry fragrance. It has been compared to Tom Ford Lost Cherry, but it doesn't quite remind me of that because it, I don't think it has the almond note that the Tom Ford Lost Cherry has, but this is a really pretty fragrance. I think I got mine on perfume.com. It was quite a while ago, but I only paid like 20 bucks for it, but it's a really pretty fragrance. And like I said, totally gender neutral. This is Dolce & Gabbana 14 La Temperance. And this is a gorgeous fragrance. It's um, aromatic and beautiful. It's gender neutral, I think. And um, I think this was a tester I got for a really good deal. Angel Eau de Toilette from 2019. I've talked about this one so much. I love it. It's fruity. It's delicious. It's fabulous. Love. One of my top, top. From Maison Lancome, this is Iris Drage. I just have the travel size. I love it so much. It's a beautiful um, Iris Drage. I think that's like almond candies with the iris. Beautiful um, in the Maison Lancome style because they, they just do fragrances so beautifully. And this one I love. I've been tempted to get a bigger bottle, but... As you can see, I have so much, I really don't need another bottle, even though this one is gorgeous. Another clean reserve tester I got, this one is Sweet Briar and Moss. I think this I got on Fragrance X. Really pretty, aromatic, green, gorgeous, very, very nice. And this one, I think, even though this is a fall video, this one really is a year round fragrance. Many of these are actually, but this one in particular, I could see this in spring and um, a lot of the years. So Sweet Briar and Moss, very pretty from Clean. From Zara, this is Rose Gourmand. This is a dupe for Montal Roses Vanille, I think. It's very pretty. Um, I heard about this from Arlene from Delicious Delights. It's a really pretty fragrance. I'm not sure if it's still on their site. Zara seems to cycle through their fragrances pretty rapidly, but this is a really nice one if you can find it. Don't overpay for it, but if you can find it, it's a really nice dupe for Roses Vanille from Montal. From the Perry Ellis Oud Collection, and this is called Vetiver Royale Absolute. This is a really interesting fragrance. Um, it's hard to find now. It's sad because um, I think they discontinued. I think they discontinued this line, and there's some really beautiful ones in here. So this is a really gorgeous fragrance, gender neutral. This is Beyonce Heat Seduction. This is a really pretty amber fragrance, very spicy and delicious. This is Jean Paul Gaultier Labelle. I've talked about this one in a lot of videos. It's a really pretty fruity vanilla fragrance. Love it. It's got pear. It's it's my very happy, happy place fragrance. This is Flower Bomb Nectar. It smells pretty similar to the original Flower Bomb. It's very pretty and similar to Valentino Born in Roma, that kind of style of fragrance and nice amber floral type fragrance, beautiful. This is Lolita Lempica Elixir Sublime and this is a gorgeous, gorgeous spin on Lolita Lempica. It's just a little bit deeper and richer, very pretty. It's got the um, kind of house DNA of Lolita Lempica with that licorice very pretty fragrance. This is Narciso Rouge, one of my favorites. This is like the original Narciso, that clean, classy, gorgeous musk. This one has more rose in it and I think it's beautiful. It's in my top 15 for sure. From the House of Beale, this is called E001 and this is just a beautiful amber spicy fragrance. I love this one. It's hard to describe. It's gender neutral and it's just a stunner. From Mariah Carey, this is called M, and this is a beautiful white floral. To me, it smells more expensive than it is. This is very inexpensive at like $20 for this giant bottle. And it's a very beautiful white floral. I think it layers really nicely with lots of different things. I think the bottle's kind of cute. From Calvin Klein, this is Eternity Intense. So they took Eternity, which I wore back in the 90s, I went through several bottles and they just amped it up. And it's a really, really pretty spin on Eternity. It's very dark and rich and still a beautiful floral. So I really like this version of Eternity. Also from Calvin Klein, this is Euphoria Gold. This is a really deep, rich, amber spicy. Again, I love the amber spicy fragrances. This is really pretty. And um, I haven't smelled the original Euphoria, but I really do like this flanker. Jimmy Choo Fever, it's a really pretty fruity version of the original Jimmy Choo. It's, it doesn't have the patchouli that the original has. So this one has some really beautiful fruit notes. It's a very bright, bright fruity floral fragrance and kind of similar to Labelle, but I love Jimmy Choo Fever. From Tokyo Milk, this is called Dead Sexy. This is an amber vanilla, very, this is a beautiful amber vanilla. It reminds me of something I wore back in the early 2000s called MV3 from MAC. Smells a lot like that, gorgeous. 
This is Ruhi Tabak from Rosassi. I love this one. It's very inexpensive, but it's said to be a dupe for the discontinued Belda Opium, which is an opium flanker that um, is really hard to find now. This is gorgeous, very inexpensive, very beautiful, gorgeous, long lasting fragrance. From Alexander McQueen, this one is just called McQueen. This is a beautiful, a beautiful floral, slightly vintage smelling, really lasting and beautiful. I just love this one. From Penn Halligans, this is the Ruthless Countess Dorothea. This is a really interesting fragrance. It's got some really unique notes like white wine and cinnamon and it's spicy and interesting. Not super long lasting, but just a gorgeous fragrance and really unique and gender neutral. From Katy Perry, this is Indie. This is, this is a gorgeous gender neutral sandalwood fragrance. To me, smells a little bit similar to Santal 33. It's gorgeous. It's very inexpensive and very beautiful. John Varvatos Vintage. I've talked about this a lot on the channel. This is so gorgeous. It's like, it's got such warm, beautiful spices and it's just an intoxicating fragrance to me. I love this one. Kaali Vanilla 28, very pretty, very nice vanilla. It reminds me slightly of Killian's Angel Share, kind of in that vein. So cute. Uh, doesn't have great lasting power for me, but I love it. This is Ombre 114 from Histoire de Parfum and this is a gorgeous amber spicy fragrance vintage smelling, gender neutral, just classy and beautiful. This is Jimmy Choo Stars. This one reminds me a lot of the original. It's got the patchouli, it's got mandarin orange. It's very, very beautiful. Um, long lasting, sadly discontinued, but I love this one. And finally, I've got some Dua. This is Iris Cafe. This is a clone for Guerlain Iris Toreffi, which I haven't smelled the original, but this is pretty. It's a little bit gourmand, very floral, very beautiful. Decennium, this one is a clone for Bodacia, the Victorious Decade, which was a Herod's exclusive. And this is an interesting fragrance. I don't know if I love it. it it's a little bit soapy. It's definitely deep, rich, amber, spicy. Probably need to play with this one. <laughs> Amberlicious, I really like this one. This is intended to be a clone for Hermes Ombre Narguil. It's really pretty. Um, they've got a cherry Amberlicious one too that is really pretty. This one is Fashionista. This is intended to be a clone for Mask Milano's Times Square. Pretty, floral, spicy. I haven't worn these duos very much, so. I need to get to know them a little better. This one is Soulmate. This is an original Dua blend. This one is really interesting. It's smoky. It's a little bit sweet. It's really pretty. Um, so I have been kind of letting these macerate, but they are probably wearable now. So I will be trying them out as the weather cools down a bit. Those are my fall. <laughs> Those are my fall friendly fragrances. It's a lot, I know. I've got reviews on a lot of these over the course of my 450 or whatever <laughs> videos I have on my channel. So you can always go to my channel page and type in the search bar for whatever you're looking for. I'm pretty good about putting things in my description boxes if you're looking for a particular fragrance. But if you would like to have, if you would like me to review any of these, please let me know in the comments because I would be happy to do reviews of any fragrances in my collection. Um, and I may already have done reviews on some of these, but in fact, I know I've done reviews on some of them, but anyway, so I would love to know if you like this, please give this a thumbs up. So I know that you like it. Feel free to give it a thumbs down if you didn't, but I am planning to do the rest of the collection, the summer, spring and winter fragrances, probably summer first, then winter, then spring last. So if you're interested in those, please give me a thumbs up. So I know that you like this type of content. I'm always interested in what is on your mind and what you like and what you prefer not to watch. So thank you so much for spending some time with me today. I really appreciate it. And I will see you again very soon. Bye-bye.